Hello and welcome to High School Soccer with Western Ohio Sports Network. I'm Josiah Stober bringing you today's play-by-play -play and an exciting matchup here between two WBL foes, the Ottawa Glandorf Titans and the Bath Wildcats. As starters are just now being announced, we'll look at both teams on the visitor scoreboard. The visitors will be Bath starting number one, a senior, Carmen Cuckelman. Number two, Hayden O'Donnell, a senior. Number four, Allison Stumball is a freshman. McKenna O'Keefe, the number five, the senior. Faith Clark, who had the game-winning goal in overtime for the Bath team to put them in this district final game, the senior, number seven. Haley Hale, the senior, number nine. Marley Mason, number 10, is a sophomore. Gwyn Faust, number 12, is also a sophomore. Addie Rex, the freshman, is number 16. Maddie Leindecker, the juniors, number 20. And number 21, Gabby Gonzalez, is number 21 is the junior to round out the starting lineups for the Bath Wildcats. They're coached by Lamar Houston, who comes in to today uh, with a record of 10-6-3 overall. And they had a win over St. Mary's, as I mentioned, in overtime in the district semifinals. They had a win in the sectional final over Van Wert, 14 to nothing, to get them to this point. Uh, they finished the year 4-3-2 and two in the WBL, and they lost 0-2 to two, um, earlier in the year to this OG Titans team. So let's take a look now at our home team on the scoreboard, the Ottawa Glendorf Titans, coached by Michelle Mag. Number two, McKenna Seeker, comes into the year with 26 goals on the year, eight assists. Number five, Carly Brinkman, the senior. Number six, Delaney Dooling, um, is a junior. Number eight, Emma Herringhouse, is a sophomore. Number 11, Elena Class, is a sophomore. Number 13, the senior, Megan Horseman. Number 15, Miley Bockrath is a freshman. Number 16, Savannah Recker is a junior. Number 17, Riley Brinkman is a freshman. And number 18, Liv Grothaus, a junior. And behind, in between the posts is Libby Neese is the sophomore filling in for Carson Erford, who's still coming back from that shoulder injury she sustained earlier in the year. So uh, should be a great matchup, as we mentioned. OG um, won this matchup earlier in the year, two to nothing. They finished the year nine and zero in the WBL, uh, 15 and two on the season. Their only loss is coming in the year to Anthony Wayne and Perrysburg, both division one teams. Uh, coming into this year. Um, they got here by defeating Brian one to nothing in the district semis to set up this matchup with the Bath Wildcats. Our scoreboard sponsor today is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken located in Walpock, Delphus, and St. Mary's, locally owned and operated. Lee's is not just famous for chicken, we're famous for catering too. So we thank our scoreboard sponsor, Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. When we come back, we will have the start of the district finals between the OG Titans and the Bath Wildcats. You're listening to Soccer on WOSN. And we're back for the Regional 14 Division 4 district finals between the Ottawa Glendorf Titans and the Bath Wildcats. Bath comes in as the visitor wearing the white with the blue letters. OG in their dark blue with the yellow line down the center of their uniforms. We'll be playing from right to left. Bath will be coming at you from left to right to start this first half. And it seems on cue, we got a, an alarm going off in OG to start our district final between two WBL foes. And as Bath tries to maintain possession here, we have a quick takeaway there by Miley Bockrath, who gets it up the field to her teammate Delaney Dooling as the ball gets placed out of bounds 
It'll be a throw in to the Titans. And once again, the quick throw in here. And a early strike there by Megan Horseman, the outside back for this Titans team pushing up. Shot was wide left. Now Bath will maintain possession here as they're trying to work the ball out of the back and, and a good push by number two, Hayden O'Donnell, but the ball does go out of bounds and it will go to the Lady Wildcats. As we talk about experience here for these two teams, OG comes in. This senior class has been down to the state finals game the past three years, losing every single contest one nothing. Those losses in 23 and 22 were to Cincinnati Country Day School with the scoreline of one nothing. And then 2021, this seniors, as they were freshmen, lost to Waynesville 0-1 in that state final. So a lot of games played, a lot of experience on this Titans team. Expect them to maintain possession, try to control the pace of this game. But Bath's coming in, trying to play that spoiler, trying to knock off this Titans team. And a quick throw in there to Miley Bockrath. OG doing a lot down this left sidelines. Trying to get the ball in to McKenna Siefker, the WBL player of the year in the conference. Comes in with 26 goals, eight assists on the year. Definitely don't want to give her any space with the ball at her feet. And here she is right now. And as you can see, Bath shifting their defense over. Anytime she gets the ball at her feet, have to have numbers around her. But she does a great job, too, distributing to her teammates. That's Elena Class who loses the ball there as Bath is on the attack. There's three, three on four as some help is coming. And a great overlap run there by number four, Allison Stumball, but... Defense was able to hold it up there and get the ball up the sidelines as the ball comes back to the Bath Wildcats and kind of changing possession here. As we tried for a, a quick through ball there, and that was Carly Brinkman. The, the Titan midfielder there. And right now, the ball goes off of OG. OG was hoping for a corner there, but ball goes back as not a great clearance by the goalkeeper off the goal kick here. And we see McKenna Siefker trying to attack against multiple defenders and unable to do so. And a long ball that goes all the way across the field. And we got a shot there by Delaney Dueling, the junior. Comes in with five goals. Strikes that ball well with her left foot as the ball goes off the upright. As we see OG early trying to attack that back line of the Wildcats. And we saw there Carly Mag able to win possession for the Titans. And the ball on that cross just goes a little bit out of the reach of the runner on the backside. So the ball will go back to the Wildcats. Uh, 
There we go, Bath playing a little bit of long ball there. As it's still not cleared out. So we have some contact there. That's number 12, Gwyn Faust, trying to win contact, but the ball's, ball's won back by the Titans. And that's Dueling playing the ball long to Siefker. But the back line was up to the challenge. Good clearance there by the Wildcats. So the ball gets thrown into Seifker as defenders right there. And this will be the first corner for OG. And that will be Delaney Dueling standing over top of the ball. Ready to look to deliver the corner into the box. And the ball goes in there, bounces around a little bit. Finally cleared by Bath. As the ball is trying to be pushed back in. And we do have our first foul of the afternoon. And that's number 16, Savannah Wrecker. The center back as Bath tries to play quickly on the long ball and good header there. And that was Megan Horseman. The ball is played long and it will be picked up by Libby Nice. And a big punt there down to midfield that comes to the feet of McKenna Siefker. As you see, just doubled right away as she gets possession of the ball. As Bath tries to play the quick one, too, but once again, Savannah Wrecker is there to clear the ball. Ball gets thrown in to Carly Mag, excuse me, Marley Mason for the Wildcats. As Faith Clark there in the middle, as we mentioned earlier, with about six minutes to go in that first overtime, provided the game winner to push Bath to this district final game. That goal made it three to two with beating St. Mary's. And it looks like we have a little bit of an equipment malfunction by the goalkeeper as she came out to make that stop. Her shin guard came out, but her teammate was there to help her get it back in. And a good 50-50 ball won there by Addie Rex there in the middle. And the ball goes long, out of bounds. There'll be another goal kick as we have a couple substitutes for Bath. Mara Davis comes in. Anna, Anna Razor comes in. Number 17, Haley Core comes in. And also Cameron McGee comes in for Bath. And for OG, Emma Herringhouse comes out of the game and brings in Maya Herringhouse for the Titans. It'll be a throw in for Bath. Hey, both these teams still trying to fill each other out. You know, we talked about it being a 2-0 game the first time these two met, but anything can happen in tournaments. Sometimes you need a little bit of luck, but you have to be focused and stay on top of your game to keep advancing. You win and keep playing. If you lose, you go home. As OG here is good turn there by Riley Brinkman. 
And the ball gets kicked out. And that was Maddie Leindecker who cleared the ball, the center back for this Bath Lady Wildcats team. And we see Savannah Recker trying to attack. Actually wins the ball back, lost possession momentarily, but wins it back, plays a quick one-two. The official said it was clean there. No call there as Bath looks to attack, going back the other way. As Bath drops it back to their outside backer and she plays it long, but another clearance there by Megan Horseman. Great job using her head, not allowing the ball to bounce. And again, another challenge. Is, this look like Megan went head to head with her opponent. Some quick one twos here. And unfortunately, the ball ro does roll out of bounds. Saw the Titans playing a little bit of those quick touches there. And we do have a clearance by Savannah Record. Plays the ball along, and the goalkeeper doing a good job of coming out, kind of being that sweeper keeper. Helping out her teammates and had another punt that only goes about 15 yards, but Bath is able to clear it out to number three, Mara Davis. As Bath is able to connect a couple passes, but that ball does go out of bounds on a razor. And OG makes a substitution there, bringing in Caitlin Reed into that midfield. Megan Horseman has the throw in here. As she'll have another opportunity here. This will be dueling. Throwing the ball in, and the ball goes off the feet of Miley Bockrath. Throwing will go back to Bath. About 26-52 left here in the first half of this game. Only one shot on goal so far, and that was Delaney Dueling with that left foot strike, hits off the crossbar. No other attacks have been successful as Bath now has the ball down inside the 18 as we get a clearance here, but it's 22. Haley Malk stepping in front of that ball, trying to get the ball back into the box as we see a strike there by Number seven, Faith Clark. Really the first good attempt by Bath. The ball ends up going left, but you saw the keeper reeling a little bit. Had to dive to her right. But a good strike there, good opportunity for Bath as they're on the attack once again. And we have dueling here. Attacking down that left side, but the ball goes out of bounds, and it will be a bath throw-in. The winner of this game will meet the winner of Bellevue Clear Fork or Liberty Benton in Bowling Green next week. With this being the region 14 Division 4 Northwest 1. They will meet up with those the winner of that game, which is playing right now. <sighs> will be another throw in as OG has a few subs. Number 8 and number 17 check into the game. Number 8 being Emma Herringhouse. 17, Riley Brinkman come back into the game. 
The ball goes through to McKenna Siefker. And we see Riley Brinkman putting the cross in the ball box, the ball bouncing around a little bit. We see Bath able to clear it out, but ball goes back in and it will be a goal kick. And we have another substitution for Bath. Number 21, Gabby Gonzalez comes back into the game. Coming out for the Wildcats will be number four, Allison Stumball. Ball falls now to Faith Clark as she distributes the ball out wide. And we do have a foul there. The official was trying to see it play out, but she does give the ball back to OG on about that 30-yard line on the football field. This allows OG to put some numbers for her, get him in the box. The ball goes in, the ball bounces around here, falls to Seeker, a shot, another opportunity, a great stop by the keeper getting down to her left keeping the hard shot from McKenna Siefker out. And Carmen Kunkelman keeps this game at 0-0 with 22-22 left in the first half. Ball hasn't been in the really center of the field very much for either team. And that ball was bouncing around. And if you're OG and Coach Mag, that's who you want the ball to fall to. And it falls to McKenna Siefker. And she does a quick turn and shot. But it was Carmen Kunkelman getting down to her left, just getting that, that Paul on the ball, knocking it out wide and unable to finish on the other side. So we remain 0-0 as the ball gets pushed back. And what a great move there. From the center back, Carly Brinkman. Seen that a couple times tonight. Playing from that center back position. Taking that ball, attacking, getting into the gaps here. As she pushes it up to Siefker. Ball comes out to Bath. Thought the ball maybe went out of bounds, but was kept it in. And Bath getting a couple connected passes here. As we got another one, two, but it's Brinkman who's able to clear the ball. Looks like the ball will, like the far official thought it went out on OG, but the center official was able to correct him and the ball goes back to Well, it goes back to Bath. Not really a gain either way for either team on those throw-ins. Going back and forth here with throw-ins. As we got Seifker, the ball bounces over the defender. 1v1 here, tries to go by her. And it comes from behind. And we had a great shot there, an opportunity. I believe that was Riley Brinkman. But another good save. Two good saves by this keeper here in the last three minutes of play. As we got Bath here, a 1v1 here, but it's Brinkman trying to stand her up. We've seen Bath here able to connect 
Play a little possession soccer here recently in the last 10 minutes of play. Not allowing OG to dominate the possession. Number 18, Liv Grothaus with the ball, switches the, the point of play. Out to Emma Herringhouse on the opposite side. Ball goes out of bounds, but throw a quick throw in by Bath. As the ball comes back to number 13, Megan Horseman, who plays it to 17. Brinkman has got another foul. I believe that's the third foul on the Wildcats team so far here in this first half. Not a bad foul. So Bath able the ball bouncing around a little bit. It was Mara Davis trying to run that down, but the ball comes back to the Titans. And that's Delaney Dueling attacking down that side, but great defending with the slide tackle. And that's Haley Hale, number nine, the senior defender on that back side, doing a good job of chasing down that ball, kicking it out of bounds. Got 17.40 left here in this first half, 0-0. Zero, zero. We've had the Titans with three good shots so far in this first half. The only real opportunity for the Wildcats was Faith Clark hitting from about 30 yards out, a little bit left of the post, but it's still 0-0. Zero, zero. I'd like to take this time to thank our scoreboard sponsor, Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken located in Walpock, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Locally owned and operated, Lee's is not just famous for chicken. We're famous for catering to Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. Ball goes out to Dueling, tries to play it into her teammate. Siefker, unable to connect as Brinkman plays it off of the bat defender. It will be another throw in for the Titans. That'll be another one here as Dueling tries to play quickly. Gets the ball into Seifker and just unable to control the touch. As Horseman plays the ball long. And it is cleaned up by the bath keeper, Carmen Kunkelman, the senior. And you like to see here those defenders for OG not afraid to use their head on those punts, those long kicks. They're clearing that ball quickly, getting up and meeting that ball as we have another foul on Bath. That'll be the fourth of this fir first half. Another opportunity for Megan Horseman to play that ball long into the box. So OG throws some numbers forward. As the ball gets placed in the middle, a good header there by the senior defender. And we have Liv Grothaus. Ball comes out to her, and she shoots it for about 30 yards out. Once again, another save by the keeper. See Faith Clark battling for the ball there. But it is cleared. The ball goes out of bounds. It will be a throw in back to OG as you have a substitute here, number four. Maya Herringhouse is coming back into the game. Coming off will be Riley Brinkman, the freshman, getting a lot of playing time here in this tournament match. So 
But we do have an update on the scores. The winner of this game will play the winner of Clear Fork and Liberty Benton. And updates as of now as Clear Fork has went up two to nothing on Liberty Benton. So as of now, if that score line holds, the winner of this game will go play Clear Fork in Bowling Green. As Seifker plays the cross and the ball goes off the post and it's a goal! Seifker with the cross. And it's Emma Herringhouse with the goal. Ball goes off of the post and goes over the line. And another assist there by Seifker. But it's Emma Herringhouse with the finish, with the cross, with the 1-0 scoreline score now. And that's our Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken scoreboard sponsor. We now have a 1-0 lead for the Titans. As now we've got even some more excitement from this Titans bench. But it's Bath now coming back. Battle there. And that's 16, Addy Rex. Battling with that stout Titans defense. We got a ball long and it will be out of play. Bath coming right back off of that goal from Emma Herringhouse. It's goal number seven on the year. And for October, it's just a beautiful day out, uh, 54 degrees, the end of October. A lot of times these games are played in the cold and snow, but we have a beautiful day out here for some regional or some district final soccer. As Faith Clark now gains possession of the ball for Bath and plays it out, but it's that defense of the Titans reading that pass as we have a long ball from Seifker. And that's dueling, running down the sidelines as we have Riley Brinkman coming back into the game. And that will be dueling coming out. Just about 12 minutes left in this first half. 1-0 to the Titans. And we have Seeker, ball thrown in. She plays it out wide as a cross about 12 yards out. And that's Caitlin Reed on the backside trying to corral it, but the ball goes out of bounds. That'll be a throw in for the Wildcats. With 11 and a half minutes to go here in the first half. So we have a quick header there, falls to Brinkman. But the ball goes out here. Both teams trying to maintain possession in the middle of the pitch. And that was Faith Clark going back and ball's kicked long here. And it's Brinkman coming back, but the ball bounces off the defender. A good opportunity for Bath as there was a collision there. Both feet coming together, clean tackle. But the ball comes back out, and it is kicked out by Maya Herringhouse 
as we have a substitute. Number six and eight for Bath comes in. Number six being Anna Razor. Number eight being Cameron McGee. Check in for the Wildcats. Here we go, Siefker playing the long diagonal ball, but looks like it should be easily picked up by Kunkelman, as she does there. As she makes the long punt over midfield. But it's 18, Liv Grothaus there, battling for the ball as the Ball goes back as Bath has some numbers going forward as a strike there makes contact. Good shot there as Libby Nice comes out and dives on the ball. The punt comes out to midfield, but it's Bath who's able Possess the ball a little bit as the ball's taken away by the Titans as both teams exchange possession of the ball here within the 20 yard distance, kicking it back and forth to each other. There we got Titans playing the ball to Seifker. She's able to corral the ball. She switches the point of attack here. And that's our goal scorer, Emma Ehringhaus. As the ball goes out, as she plays the ball in quickly to Brinkman, the freshman. The ball will go out of bounds as substitute. Blaney Dooling comes into the game with eight minutes to go here. Coming out will be Liv Grothaus. goes out and is cleared. And we'll take a quick break here. Coming back, this is WOSN giving you high school soccer. At Ottawa Glandorf for the Region 14 Division 4 District Final. It is a 1-0 score line for the Ottawa Glandorf Titans here. A goal by Emma Herringhouse. Comes here in the first half. A assist by Siefker. Ball goes off the post into the back of the net, giving us the 1-0 score line here with about 6.45 to go. Had a little bit of collision there between the Bath defense. And dueling, but the ball goes out here as Savannah Wrecker, you got to love the way she plays. Not the tallest player on the field, but willing to use her head. She's physical. She's fast. A great dual center back pairing they have with Carly Brinkman there in the back. And Carly Brinkman, the first team all WBL player. As I mentioned earlier, McKenna Siefker, the player of the year in the WBL. Savannah Recker, also first team all WBL. For Bath, two first team all WBL players, Haley Hale and Faith Clark, which was well deserved by both of those young ladies. That's Miley Bachrath switching the ball, playing it over to Elena Klass, but ball is taken away as we see Bath here getting some numbers forward. 5v4, can they get the ball across? And it's played across, but it's the goalkeeper for OG Libby Nice 
Reading the ball well, coming out. Now back to the punt. And it's Siefker who had a miss hit there. Siefker with the strike goes off of the right post. We've seen that on both sides. We saw the ball go off the left post. The ball goes off the right post today for the Titans. We saw just that little error by the center back of Bath and McKenna Siefker takes that strike with her right foot but bounces off the post. Just another opportunity missed for this Titans team. Well, the ball comes out spinning. Not, not really inside the 18. Libby Nice was trying to call for it, but the ball kind of spun backwards. And that's Wrecker once again stepping in front of that pass, clearing the ball out wide. We have just under four minutes here left in the first half. I'd like to thank our presenting sponsor also is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. We appreciate all our sponsorships for these games. It allows us to bring local sports to you. And a good throw in there into a dangerous spot as the ball falls to number 17. That was Haley Kaur, and this will be the first corner for Bath here. These set pieces could become critical for either team and for Bath. Haven't had many opportunities today. And a good ball, and it's Nice able to go up and meet that ball. Great play by the goalkeeper, even through traffic, able to go up, high point that ball, and throw the attack of the Wildcats. We have dueling once again, tacking up the left side, but it's Recker settling the ball. Retaining possession as we got a long diagonal ball. Trying to find Maya Herringhouse. Well, that's Horseman again. Ball goes backwards, but it's Claire Brinkman. Carly Brinkman, sorry. Carly Brinkman clearing the ball, helping her teammate out. And record just decides to clear it out. And, and we are at the two minute mark here in the first half. One nothing. Ottawa Glendorf. Off an assist from McKenna Seeker to her teammate Emma Herringhouse. Which leads us to our Lee's famous recipe chicken scoreboard. One to nothing. And Good battle. OG struggling a little bit to get the ball outside of their final third as Bath is sending some numbers forward. And that's Brinkman. Carly plays the ball off the Bath player, but comes back as she's able to clear. And Dueling plays the ball up high. It's kind of the ball staying in this general area here for the last couple minutes. And we have Clark playing a great through ball. That's into McGee, who tries to clear the ball as nobody is coming to the ball, but the ball finds its way back to Clark. She's got a little space here, plays the ball across, and it goes by two players. No one able to get a leg on it. As we have two subs coming into the game for the Titans, that's Liv Grodhaus and Caitlin Reed check in for the Titans. As time clicks down here, 15 seconds to go here in this first half. 
As Seifker tries to play the wall long as the ball goes out, but that'll be it here in the first half with a scoreline of OG Titans one, Bath Wildcats zero here in the first half. When we come back, we'll give you second half action in our regional 14 division four district final. Once again, it's OG one, Bath zero. And we're back here in Ottawa Glendorf for the second half of the district final between the home team on the scoreboard, Ottawa Glendorf Titans, and the visiting team, the Lima Bath Wildcats. It is a 1-0 score line from the Titans, as it was Emma Herringhouse receiving a cross from her teammate, McKenna Sievker, put the ball off the post and bounced into the goal. And that's where we stand here in the beginning of the second half. one nothing Ottawa Glendorf Titans. We'd like to thank our presenting sponsor and our scoreboard sponsor, Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, located in Walpock, Delphus, and St. Mary's, locally owned and operated. Lee's is not just famous for chicken. We're famous for catering, too. I just want to thank them again for being our sponsor. We thank all of you that donate and sponsor here at WOSN. Allows us to bring some great matchups from local high school students here, student athletes. And here we go for the second half. Ball is played back to OG as they play it long here. And that is Brinkman, the freshman Riley, able to attack there, plays the ball long. Looked like she was trying to connect with Emma Herringhouse, playing a quick one-two, and Emma Herringhouse went inside. So the ball will be a goal kick for the Bath team here. Once again, looking at the regular season matchup between these two WBL foes, and that was won by the Titans two to nothing. To get to this game for the Bath Wildcats, first sectional game, they beat Van Wert 14 to nothing. And then here at OG for the district semifinals, they beat St. Mary's three to two in overtime with about six minutes to go in that first overtime. It was Faith Clark with a rocket shot, put the ball in the back of the net to keep Bath playing to set up this matchup with the Titans. As we talk about the Titans, just been here before. The senior class has made it to the state finals every single year of their high school career. Would like to get over the hump this year as they switched vision, but a great shot there. Kind of unexpected, a quick turnaround of a shot. And I believe that was Allison Stumball makes a quick turn and shot. And I think the goalkeeper was a little stunned by it. And there was a collision in the box, but the ball is saved by Libby Nice. There we go. We have Siefker with the steal, but number five there, McKenna O'Keefe, steps in front of it, takes the brunt of that pass, but keeps the Titans attack at bay. Wreckers playing. A ball and this ball gets played long. It will be a throw in back to the Lady Wildcats. Not a lot of opportunities for either team here in this game. OG 
have had two balls come off of the posts. A shot by Dueling early in the first half and then later by Siefker, each hitting a side post. And a couple great saves as the ball comes off and Pat tried to keep it inside, but it will be a goal kick to the Titans. Soccer is one of those funny games that it just takes one chance of brilliance to put the ball in the back of the net. And as a keeper, you know, the focus is huge because a lot of the game you're staying there watching. You have to stay in the game, mentally ready to go to make that, that save at any instance. We saw that earlier just with that quick shot by Allison Stumball. Both keepers doing a really good job up to the task of making those saves when necessary. The only difference has been that goal by Herringhouse in the first half. Both teams evenly matched so far though. That's Gabby Gonzalez kicking the ball off of the Titans. But the ball will be will go back to the Titans for a throw in. Thirty-five minutes remaining here in this district final game. Gonzalez playing the cross to Clark, but ball gets taken away here as we do have a foul. First foul of the second half. And that was Liv Grodhaus. Just held on to the bath attacker as she went by her. Official right on top of that, making that call. And we'll have Faith Clark taking this free kick. As she plays the ball long into the box, but it's a header there by Carly Brinkman. You got to love this back line for the Titans. So fundamentally sound. Every single one of them willing to use their head to clear the ball. They go up and meet it. Don't allow these other teams to have much of a chance with the ball bouncing around, but go up and meet it, clear it out. And it says a lot for these defensive players as two first team all WBL players and Carly Brinkman and Savannah Wrecker, your two center backs. Look at some other honorable mentions or some mentions here, all conference second team, uh, Carson Erford, Liv Grothaus, all second team for the Titans. Third team, all WBL, was Delaney Dueling and Megan Horseman for the Titans. And an honorable mention, Kaylin Grothaus. So congratulations to all those young ladies and all the awards are well-deserved. On that pass play, ball gets into the box, but like the official was right on top. Call that infraction and the ball's back at midfield. A battle there between Wrecker and Clark. But it's Megan Horseman then with that big left, clearing it up the line. It's the ball looked like it's going out, but that far sidelines do notice that the outside lines of the soccer field are gray, so it makes it kind of difficult to see the other lines here. But a quick touch there by Herringhouse around the defender as she tries to cross the ball. It's nobody there. And it's cleaned up by Kunkelman. No problems. Pick it up. Imagine as the game gets going, the score line holds. The game should start to open up a little bit as Bath tries to send some more numbers forward. But there we see OG with an opportunity and a shot and a save.
by Kunkelman. That was dueling a quick turn as the ball goes across goal, and it's Brinkman trying to corral it, but the ball goes out. So OG, a couple of opportunities here, getting closer and closer to that second goal. Maya Herringhouse checking in for the Titans as Herringhouse comes out. As the ball plays long to Wrecker, has almost intercepted there. But Wrecker continue with possession there, plays it to the freshman, Riley Brinkman. Riley, Riley tries to attack that right side of the defense. So the visiting team bath is in the white with the blue letters. OG in the dark blue with the yellow stripe down the center. OG moving left to right this second half with Bath going right to left. Ball will go to be a throw in for Bath. It's a 1 0 score line with just about 30 minutes to play here in this second half. OG has a few more shots on goal. Hit the post a couple times. Record struggling a little bit, has taken away, but just uses that speed. Loses the ball and then able to quickly get it back as she starts the attack here. Yeah. A few more, a few too many touches, but then we got Brinkman coming back with steal. Intercepted by number four, Stumball. As she maintains possession, but the freshman, Brinkman. Continuing to show why she deserves to be in there and playing a lot of time here for this Titans team as she will be checked out. It's Caitlin Reed coming in for Caitlin, the senior, number seven. Bath subbing in. That's number three, Mara Davis, number 10, Marley Mason. Both come in for the Wildcats. Yeah, Faith Clark there plays it off. Grode House as she quickly tries to get the ball forward, and that's number four, Stumball. Attacking Carly Brinkman. Uh, Faith Clark with a nice Shot as she takes a shot, but it will go left of the frame. Seen that a couple times with Clark when she gets a little bit of space. Not afraid to take those shots from deep. Just a little bit left there. As we have 28 and a half left here in the second half. Uh, Seifker on the ball, surrounded by three bath defenders. Gonzalez doing a good job there, stopping that attack. As Stumball comes back, back to Gonzalez, but that's taken away by Dueling, who switches the attack. The ball will go out of bounds. Throw in here, and Titans win the ball back. Long ball there to number two as she heads the ball. That's Hayden O'Donnell trying to find her teammate. But once again, there's record there. Some contact, but a shot that will go wide. The fans <laughs> anticipating a foul call there, but nothing was given. And Hayden O'Donnell takes that shot. Once again, that goes wide to the right as dueling comes off the field. There you go, well-deserved break. So we have just under 27. Here in the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken scoreboard, one nothing Titans. Seeker playing the ball through. 
That was Herringhouse trying to connect. And Elena Class plays it to her teammate. And Kayla Rain goes off of a teammate. That's Grothaus. Ball goes to Seifker. Ball comes off of Seifker, but it goes back to Kunkelman. Was able to clear it up. Ball is punted, and Miley Bockrath heads the ball out of bounds. That's Horseman playing the diagonal ball across the field. It's intercepted by Gonzalez. And that's O'Don O'Donnell trying to play the ball, but we have a missed kick by Marley Mason as we have two subs here. Number 22 coming in is Haley Malk. Number 17 for the Titans is Riley Brinkman coming back in. She'll come in for Miley Bockrath for the Titans. And Miley Bockrath, fellow freshman. So freshman for freshman on that substitution. Some bath getting the opportunity. A good cross in there, but it's Brinkman once again with the header. We have Clark get a little space, but have two defenders collapsing on her. Once again, it's Clark. Every time she touches, there's a defender, maybe two on her. We got Brinkman. A step in front. And that's Leindecker who plays the ball long. But it will go out of bounds. But it will maintain possession for Bath. At 24-30 left here in this second half. Got Clark, but great interception there by Grodhouse, who's trying to find Seifker. But you have Haley Hale there to make that stop. Haley Hale, also a first team all WBL honoree, along with her teammate, Faith Clark. Second team, McKenna O'Keefe. Second team, all WBL. Third team was Hayden O'Donnell, an honorable mention this year, Gwen Faust for the Wildcats. Bath coming in today with a 10-6-3 overall record with two wins here in the tournament so far this year. OG was able to get a bye into the district's semis where they won 1-0 against Bryan. The scoreline holds here. It will be one Zero again, which at this time of the year, especially in the tournaments, any result is a good result. But we see here, ball cleared out. Brinkman's able to stand in there. Wrecker, Brinkman, Wrecker talking to each other, trying to figure out what's the right option, and Brinkman just decides to clear it. And, Reset their shape. And there's record of ball played off of Mason. You know, Bath just hoping for one of those bounces that falls their way to give them an opportunity to put a foot on it towards goal. About 22 to go here. Here we go, a shot. It's back corner off of the post. Both teams, that side post has to get another shot. Was intercepted by Brinkman. 
Bath here getting a couple opportunities. Just talking about just getting another one or two more opportunities. And that post has not been kind to either team so far this afternoon. 21.30 to go here. Bath with possession. That's Brinkman with the interception, but plays it back to Bath, who plays that long ball. The ball will be a goal kick. As we have another substitute coming in for the Titans, Maya Herringhouse is waiting to come in. 20.58 to go here. I'd like to thank our scoreboard sponsor, Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, located in Walpock, Delphus, and St. Mary's, locally owned and operated. Lee's is not just famous for chicken, we're famous for catering to Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. So we have a stop here of time as the official was checking the post there. As we've talked about many times, is the ball has hit that post hard a couple times. Official just want to make sure it's where it's supposed to be. As Record plays the ball out, and Brinkman crowds the ball to Brinkman, but plays it out to Hale. And it's been Bath here in the last couple minutes. It's been more threatening. Ball coming off the post, another shot that was intercepted. Clark doing a great job here. As she tries to play the through ball to her teammate, but it will be Brinkman spotting off the player, and it will be another goal kick for the Titans. As Caitlin Reed comes back into the ball game. As we see these midfielders being subbed in quickly by the coach, wanting to keep them fresh. In the past, you know, there wasn't always as many substitutions. We saw some of the, the quality players that they've had in the past, you know, played the majority of the minutes, but we see here this year this midfield being subbed in and out. All right, trying to stay fresh, knowing that Bath is a couple quality players in there, want to keep them Fresh, want to keep them focused into the game. And Bath continues to have some good possession inside OG's final third as Clark makes a quick little turn as she plays the ball hard. And it goes right once again. As we have another substitution here. McKenna Seeker gets her quick break coming in for Maya Herringhouse. Still one nothing here on the least famous recipe scoreboard as Wrecker comes and just heads that ball with power. Seifker here as plays the diagonal ball for that defensive bath up to the task. Ball played up, intercepted. That ball will go off of the Titans. Will be a bath throw in. We have 1740 left here on the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken scoreboard. A long throw in by Bath, but not sure if the ball ever came in. So the player will be able to go up to the original throw line. It is difficult to see those out of bounds lines with them being gray. The bright OG colors of blue and yellow. Now it's Grothaus with the takeaway. And 
Another throw in there by the Titans. As a ball is played long, as Seifker's trying to clear it, she gets ahead on it first. Can she get across? And the ball will go out. And we'll take a quick break here. You're watching High School Soccer on WOSN. And we're back for District Final Soccer on Western Ohio Sports Network. OG Titans up 1-0 on Lima Bath. Both teams have had their opportunities today. As there's been, the post's been hit multiple times by both teams. But here we go, OG with the corner now. A second goal here would almost seal the game for the Titans. As we have a ball that's high in the air. And OG wins with a couple headers, but unable to direct it towards goal as the ball comes all the way back out to Wrecker and back to her teammate, Carly Brinkman, who plays it out to Caitlin Reed, finds the other Brinkman. Riley plays the ball up and unable to connect with her teammate. And Caitlin Reed plays the ball out of bounds. Another throw in here. Ball goes back to Caitlin Reed. It's a good step there by Wrecker as ball falls and. Bath has a few numbers here. If they can find that runner on the far side, and they do. There's a battle here. And Wrecker just in the way of Seifker. Ah, and they call a foul. Seifker thought she won the ball cleanly. But the official calling a foul on her which will allow Faith Clark to once again use that strong boot, put the ball in to the box. As she kicks it into the 18, the ball falls down to Wrecker, who clears it out. As the time continues to tick down here, 14 minutes to go. District final championship on the line for both teams. Right now the difference is an Emma Herringhouse goal in the first half. And we'll start to see Bath have to send a few more numbers forward trying to even this game out. And there will be substitutions for both teams. Number 21, Gabby Gonzalez coming in for Bath. Number eight, Emma Herringhouse, our goal scorer, checking back into the game. Once again, I'd like to thank our presenting sponsor, Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, located in Walpock, Delphus, and St. Mary's. It's locally owned and operated, and Lee's is not just famous for chicken. They're famous for catering, too. Thank you, thanks again to our sponsors and those of you that donate to make this happen. OG would love to get put another one on the scoreboard as it gets across, but intercepted there. Have Savannah record as she clears it but then falls down. But Brinkman able to clear it up the field. It's not able to connect with her teammate. Faith Clark there trying to get the ball out wide, but the ball will go to Bath. We have 12 minutes to go. 
Region 14, Division 4, District Final. The winner of this game will go play Clear Fork or Liberty Benton. Still waiting on an update of that score. It was two to nothing at halftime. Now, just got an update, 3-0, Clear Fork. So the winner of this game, if that score line holds, will be three, we'll play Clear Fork, who's up three to nothing currently on Liberty Benton. And that game will be played at Bowling Green. The winner of that game will then play in Clyde. So we start to see teams having to travel a little bit farther to play. So the score line of this game in the first meeting was 2-0 Ottawa Glandorf with just under 11 minutes to go. It's still 1-0 as Wrecker was talking to Nice and Nice decided to stay back and Wrecker had to clear the ball herself. Well, we have contact there, but official, oh, see what the official calls a foul on Ottawa Glandorf in a dangerous position here. About 30, 32 yards from the goal. And Clark strikes it hard and finishes on the long strike hits the back side corner. Nothing could be done by Nice, and the game is one to one. And we'll take a quick break here. You're watching High School Soccer on WOSN. And we're back in OG on a just an amazing strike by Faith Clark. It was a rocket shot. Hit it from 32 yards out to the back side. And nothing Nice could do. She did a great job trying to get across her line. But it hit the upper 90. So now we're one to one with just under 10 minutes to go. So both teams have an opportunity here. It's one to one, 9.30 to go here in this district final game. The equalizer, Faith Clark, from 32 yards out, rockets a shot. And we get across, and it's Kunkelman. It's a good thing she got that save because it was Siefker right behind her waiting for that ball to fall down. So we see a little bit more of an open feel here as Bath continues to be aggressive winning those balls. As we get another cross in, Bath here, ball falls to them. And it looks like we do have an offsides call from the far official. So Bath with a little bit of energy here. 8.30 to go here. And ball cut falls back to Faith Clark. Don't want to give her any space at all. We got Siefker here controlling it. Playing a good diagonal ball. Can't she find her teammate? But it is cleared out. And that's McKenna O'Keefe clearing the ball out. And that's Haley Hale with that step here. As Faith Clark able to clear it out, finds her teammate. And that's Hayden O'Donnell, 1v1 on that back line. And it is Brinkman able to intercept that ball. This ball comes all the way out. But a good step there by Haley Malk. 
So two goal scorers on the day for the Titans. Emma Herringhouse in that first half. And here in the second half, it was Faith Clark with the free kick goal, hitting the upper 90. As we have two subs coming in now for Bath, number six, Anna Razor, or Anna Razor, and number eight, Cameron McGee, check back in for Bath. We are about to hit the seven minute mark remaining here in the second half. So the winner of this game will travel to Bowling Green to play what looks like will be Belleville Clear Fork, who on last update was up three to nothing on Liberty Benton. But we have a good one here. As Faith Clark plays another long ball into the box, but that's cleaned up by Libby Nice. Brink been able to intercept that shot. So we have a battle up back there with dueling. And Lamar Houston trying to get his players to to get back defensively for this last 5.30. As we got Brinkman there, a battle in the box. The OG faithful wanted a foul there, but nothing was given. It will be a throw in for the Titans to Seifker, just on the outside of the box. As she's able to get around using her body and the officials call, do call a foul there as the player went through the back of Seifker. But this can be a dangerous position for the Bath Wildcats. The Titans have it almost like a corner here. This ball will be all the way by the sidelines outside the 18. Four and a half minutes to go in this game. Across to the 18. Ball is played out. And it will be Wrecker who puts the ball back into the box. Has dueling on the back side. Ball is played out. It will be a quick throw in by OG with 4-12 to go here in the second half. And we're at the four minute mark here. One to one. And it will be a goal kick. And are we changing it? it will be changed to a corner. It looked like the near side official made the call previously to before the center official did. Another corner here with 3.26 to go. And it goes to Seifker. Got the header. Wasn't able to put as much power on it. But once again, it was Kunkelman there. Johnny on the spot. Able to grab that save. And the ball will go to Bath. Three minutes to go. Each team just wanting one more opportunity here. With 2.50 to go in the game. Yeah. 
has twice now told Lamar Houston to stop. I'm not having what you're doing. That's almost verbatim. That's the nicest way of putting this in. And the ball does go out. It will be the Titans with 2.18 to go here in the district final. And the ball is thrown out. Not sure if the ball went in at all. So Bath will be able to advance to that previous throw as we have the two-minute announcement. One-to-one -one here at Ottawa Glandorf Football Stadium. As they have that beautiful turf to play on. A minute 38 to go. Bath trying to get one more opportunity. And today it's been Faith Clark. Story of the game for Bath. With that long range strike to tie this ball game up. 117 to go. OG trying to push, trying to push, but the ball goes off of Siefker. We're at a minute six. Ball falls back to Wrecker. Tries to clear it out, but it's Haley Hale once again. Now we're down to 54. As OG's quickly trying to get the ball on the play. It's Haley Hale once again as we have 37 seconds remaining. Ball thrown in, OG once again. Both teams exchanging just throw-ins here. As the ball goes to Seifker, trying to get one opportunity here. And we have nothing, no call. It will be a goal kick. Ten seconds remaining. And that will be it in regulation. The score is one to the Titans, one back Wildcats. We will go to extra time here. You're watching High School Soccer on WOSN. And we're back in an Ottawa Glandorf to get some extra soccer here as the game finishes in regulation one to one between the Ottawa Glandorf Titans and the Bath Wildcats. In the first half, it was Emma Herringhouse for the Titans, putting in a cross from her te teammate, McKenna Siefker, to make the score one nothing, and that's what it was until halftime. And then it was the shot by Faith Clark from over 30 yards out to tie the ball game up. And that's where we stand here, one to one, with the start of extra time. So this will be a golden goal opportunity. The first team to score in this extra time will win the game. If they don't, we will play a 15 minute extra time period. If the score remains one to one, we will play a, a second extra 15 minute period. If the score still remains the same, after that time period, we will go to a penalty shootout. But for now, each team coming in just wanting to find a way to put that ball across that line into the back of the net. And the first team to do that will win this. The winner of this game will go on to Bowling Green where they will play Clear Fork, who is currently up four to zero on Liberty Benton. So some excitement here in Ottawa Glandorf as we're about to get started here in the extra time. Bath will kick the ball off. And we'll see which team gets the first opportunity here to continue playing. 
Ball goes back to Bath. As we see the ball cleared out there by Riley Brinkman. So a little bit of excitement here at Ottawa Glandorf, a team that in the regular season went undefeated in the Western Buckeye League, going 9-0, and beating this Lima Bath team 2 to nothing. But with tournaments, anything can happen. And we've seen that here today as OG scores in the first half, but Bath responds. And now we sit here with extra time as Dueling makes a attacking move, gets the ball across to Seifker. As the ball falls to her, will Seifker get a shot? And the game is over! Seifker with the first opportunity in the second half, makes a quick move and finishes the ball as the goalkeeper is unable to keep it out. Just over one minute into the extra time. McKenna Seifker with the goal to send Ottawa Glandorf on to the regionals where they will play in Bowling Green against Clear Fork. What excitement we've had here today, finishing just over one minute into the extra time. OG comes away with the victory, two to one against Lima Bath, who put up a fight the entire afternoon here. Made it difficult for this Titans team, but the experience comes through, and it's the senior forward. 27th goal of the season. Comes away with the finish. And that's why she was the player of the year in the Western Buckeye League with that finish. It's been since 2020 since Ottawa Glandorf has been in an overtime game. And we see there, they didn't want to play that long. Finish it off quickly. And that will finish up the year for Bath, they will finish the year 10, 7, and 3. Ottawa Glendorf will continue, will move now to 17 and 2 as they will move on to regionals at Bowling Green next week where they will take on Belleville Clear Fork. So it's been some exciting soccer here. We want to thank you guys for tuning in. Congratulations to the OG Titans as they continue to play and move on to regionals next week. I'd like to thank our scoreboard sponsor, Elise Famous Recipe Chicken. Elise Famous Recipe Chicken is located in Walpock, Delphi, and St. Mary's. It's locally owned and operated. And Elise is not just famous for chicken, we're famous for catering too. So, what a, some excitement here in Ottawa Glandorf. Congratulations to the Titans as they move on. And you're watching high school soccer on WOSN 89.3.